with NGH. Among his many honors and awards is a faculty member of John Abbott College in Montreal, where he teaches full credit courses in hypnosis. We can be certain he is an expert in his field, and I'm also told that he is a great storyteller himself. Mm-hmm. As we welcome Mari Rosa, let us also congratulate him for his 1990 induction into the International Hypnosis Hall of Fame. Mari. Very nice. That was beautifully done. I thank you so much. Thank you. Good. Well, good morning. It's nice to be with you again. I'm always amazed at how quickly the year goes by. Thank you for the introduction. That was very nice, too. Um, I really... Uh, do you hear me well? Is that all right? Yes. I really don't know whether I could have the, the nerve or the courage to, to call what I'm going to talk about Ericksonian storytelling. Uh, there obviously will be a great influence from Milton Erickson and a lot of influence from a lot of other people uh, that have influenced my life and my work. But with the proliferation of Erickson techniques of NLP courses and workshops, the neuro-linguistic programming, and the resurgence of publicity up to and beyond Milton Erickson's death, many of us in this field have realized, and I, I hope that you do too, that we've been NLPing for a long, long time. For many, many years, and sometimes those of us that have been in the field a long time, particularly, have been doing this perhaps in a roughshod, crude sort of way, but I'll bet you that we've done it more often with a finesse and a structure that even the most passionate Erickson disciple would approve and would enjoy and with tongue-in-cheek, I'd say, and almost envy. Because I think that those of us that are in this field and that have to savor language and communication and the careful choice of words and imagery and all of those things that are very much the core of our work, um, we must have been using a great deal of the type of finesse that I grew to love Milton Erickson about uh, and many of the things that he did. Of course, hypnotists, and I'm, I'm still not quite sure what that means. I've been in this field for a little while now, um, and I've spent hours and hours talking to you and other confreres over the years. Uh, I really don't know what, what we mean when we talk about hypnosis. But as I said, I started to say, hypnotists have long been in that position of having their techniques and recipes and formulas and strategies discovered by so-called modern scientific innovators. 